So in today's technical corner, I'm with John Short from Open Mind Technologies UK, and we're going to be talking about a product um, that they've been offering now for some time, and it's called Virtual Machine. John, uh, welcome to this technical corner. Can you tell us to start with what is Virtual Machine? Yeah, absolutely. So Virtual Machine is a digital twin. So it is a virtual representation of your physical CNC machine down to the PLC. Okay, now what would be the difference? Well, what does it do? Yeah. So it's, it really comes in at three different levels. There's a, there's a base um, NC simulation, um, which is just G-code simulation. The next level would be uh, what we call a, a G-code optimizer. That's where it gets really interesting for us because that is doing much more than a generic standard NC simulation. A third and final level would be what we call connected machining. And the connected machining is where we get rid of human mistakes. Okay, let's pick let's pick those three areas then, and the first of which would be the NC simulation. Um, what's the difference between a virtual machine, for example, and just a standard NC simulator? Yeah, so there's there's sim NC simulation on the market and we can we can you know really do the same as what they're doing. NC simulation is is very good at picking up an issue. What it's not so good at is actually fixing that issue. So it's down to the user or the programmer to fix it. So you would program as you would normally, post it out, put it in your external simulation, that finds an issue and then it's, well, you need to go and fix it. So there's a manual then operation for the guy, to, or the programmer to go and fix it and get it back into uh, the simulation. Okay, and with virtual machine that doesn't happen? Absolutely, so we're removing that to and fro in. Um, we're putting auto, uh, some really high level intelligence into the, the machine simulation. So if there is an issue, uh, for example, it will just avoid a collision or bring the machine back into limits automatically. And does it tell you what it's doing? Does it, yeah, does it, it tells you as it's going through. So it's live processing and, and it's telling you, you know, I'm, I'm adjusting the clearance plane to respect the Z limits of the machine or I'm rotating the C axis to avoid a collision, potential collision. Okay, now that it, that is it is fascinating because I I, I can I've seen it on many occasions the the advantages to NC simulation and this obviously takes it one step further. Let's then go on to the optimizer because this mm. is really crucial, isn't it? Yeah. Let, let's maybe look at some examples. Where do, how does the optimizer work? So the optimizer because it's a digital digital twin, it knows about your machine. Okay, so what that means is a simple example could be if you're doing multi-sided machining or drilling. Um, conventionally, what would happen, uh, same with our standard posts, is it would do some machining, then the machine would go back to a home or safe position, maybe it resets the table, maybe it spins it uh, 80 degrees and then comes back down again. So what you'd find is on a, you know, maybe a four hour runtime on a production part, maybe an hour of that is just going backwards and forwards and it's just a lot of airtime. So automatically, what Optimize is going to do, when the, when the same tool is loaded, it's going to find the safest um, most optimized position from where it can say, well, I'm up B90, I will need to get to B180, how do I get there? So it will do a simultaneous move if it can, and that cuts down a lot of airtime. Yeah, I mean, what would be, any, give, me, give me an estimation of what sort of airtime you, you, could, you could save on a, on a production. Yeah, it could be maybe 10% of the overall program. You know, it, it becomes really useful when you've got maybe parts that are a little bit too big for your machine, or maybe the tool bill's a little bit too long, but it's necessary. Maybe you're having to create maybe special macros on your machine just to get the part, uh, just to get the tool into position. It eliminates all that sort and, of stuff. And is this, is this? Do you think is, this sounds really attractive to me? Is this the big area that people get really excited Absolutely, about? Absolutely, yeah. Because it's automatic as well. You know, mm -hmm. you're not. You can actually take it. You know, you can actually be quite a bit lazier with your programming because you've got link in in Hypermill. You've always had that ability. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, you have to create that linking job. In, in some ways, it's a bit like a driverless car, isn't it? The, yeah, the car's, yeah, car's going to go around yeah. the, the corner in the quickest, it's going to do it better than a human Absolutely. if it's programmed correctly. Yeah. Um, what, what's the connected side then? This takes it yeah, one step so, further. So connected, uh, this, is, this is sort of a, a problem that's been in the industry for a long time. Um, so even our, our base level POF, toolpath simulation that we've had for a long time is really, really powerful. The problem normally comes when you've got that code, you put it on the machine and you know, you've programmed with um, your datum top center of the part, whereas the operator has put the datum bottom of the device or something like that. Or maybe tool one in your program is a 50 mil face mil, but on the machine it's a six mil uh, drill. So they're the issues that, you, that we normally got. Now what connected machining does, it, it is literally connected. We take um, an ethernet cable and put it into your machine then we're able to see the tool table, the datum table. So 
if you get those scenarios where you know the datum is different on the machine to it to the actual session it tells you straight away it won't let you run it so is this a, is this a, a, a are you confident to say this this is this will eradicate all of these collectively 100% of any potential issues yeah yeah because those issues that we you know historically got were user based you know, yeah. settings not and not they're expensive ones. oh absolutely you know it's it doesn't take long to get your money back with something like virtual machine. Yeah. Um, just how does it work? Finally, I mean, the digital twin. What what happens? Let's say I have a you know a DMG Mori machine or whatever mm. it might be. How, how do I go about getting this installed onto uh, my yeah, piece of hardware? Yeah. So it's, it's it's a fairly simple install for us now because we're so used to it. Um, we would take obviously the the CAD data for your machine. Um, we actually do a little bit more with the data and we're creating something what we call a safe shield. So we can't go zero for zero on the tolerances. So we tell you know, do an offset of the actual, the machine. And then we um, do some testing on the physical machine, get some points. Because what, what you'd find on the virtual machine is that if you uh, move to a certain position, um, the positions will be, both the NC and the machine positions will be on the simulation, exactly the same as what's on the machine. So you can, you, you know, if you're running connected machining, you're, transferring the, the NC code to the machine, you're running it from your keyboard, mm -hmm. and then maybe there's coolant on, you can't see anything, we stop it, we have a look on the simulation, the, the limits are the same, and then you, when you're happy, you press space and it goes again. So, so this does, it doesn't matter what machine tool you've got, obviously you're a Hypermill user, yep. you can get the benefit from a virtual machine. Certainly the future and something to talk to Open Mind uh, Technologies UK about. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Very engaging.